so glad these are not turned on. We have a go for main engine start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We have booster. I would be crispier than the burntest French fry. And lift off of the space shuttle Discovery, lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. sun. It gives us warmth, gives us light, gives us plants. How does it do it? What's it made of? Noah? We're going to tell you. Tucker Dog and I are walking in the secret ravine in Northern California where the sunlight is especially beautiful. The sun isn't just a pretty face though, even if it weren't much to look at. And, by the way, never look directly at the sun. It's so strong, it can actually hurt your eyes or even make you blind. Even if it weren't so pretty, though, we need the sun to stay alive. The heat from the sun makes the plants grow, gives animals heat and energy to live. But how? What is the sun made of? Noah of Jefferson, Louisiana wants to know. So we visited the Discovery and Science and Space Museum in Sacramento, California to find out. It's me, Elizabeth, and I'm here in Sacramento, California at the Discovery Center of Science Space Museums. Ask Elizabeth a science book. This is going to be fun. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Williams Bushy, and this is Ask Elizabeth a Science Question. We're here with David Muse, and I'm here in Sacramento, California at the Discovery Museum Science and Space Center in their planetarium, and it's very, very cool. David Muse is a museum educator, and he has been educating children and families about science for over 25 years. He designed and presents informal presentations as well as hands-on activities for everybody, grown-ups and children, from astronomy to zoology. Anything about science is fair game. David, I guess, knows absolutely everything, <laughs> which is why I decided to call him up when Noah from Louisiana, who's five, asked Elizabeth a science question about the sun. He wants to know what the sun is made of. And since we're here at this really way cool planetarium, what, David, is the sun made of? Well, no, that's a great question. Uh, the sun is made of chemicals, uh, chemicals in a kind of unusual state. Uh, when you think about chemicals, uh, maybe you think about water. And if water is very cold, it's, it freezes solid, and, and that's ice, and that's the solid state, state of water. If you heat that ice up, it's going to melt into what we usually think of as water, which is liquid water. If you heat that liquid further, uh, then the water is actually going to evaporate into a gas, and that water is entered into a third state, a gas. If you get that, that gas really super, super hot, then something uh, extraordinary might happen. That gas might actually turn into yet another state of matter uh, called plasma turned into yet another state of matter uh, called plasma. The sun is mostly that super, super hot state of matter, plasma. And, and uh, particularly a couple of different elements uh, make up the sun, hydrogen and helium, mostly hydrogen, a bit of helium, and then a little tiny bit of some other chemicals. I know about helium, and you've seen helium. What can we, what can we tell know about helium? Uh, often you'll see it in balloons. That's the stuff that makes balloons float at birthday parties. That's right. That's right. And helium can be a lot of fun because it's <laughs> lighter than what? Lighter than air. And it makes you talk funny. But don't ever do that. Because that's not, that's not safe. <laughs> so, and how, how come the sun burns? The sun burns because it's so big. Uh, what happens is that the sun is so huge. It is really huge. If the sun were your house, the earth would be a, like a penny in your hand, in your house. That the outside is getting, uh, is crushing down on the inside and a process uh, with a sort of scientific sounding name, nuclear fusion starts to begin. And that's what makes the sun so hot. That's also what makes the sun so bright. Mr. Muse is right. The sun is really bright. 
because it's really, really far away and we can still see it. It's so far away that you could line up school buses end to end from the earth to the sun and you could put every single person in the world on those buses and still more than half of them would be empty. Because the nuclear fusion releases a lot of energy in uh, the form of heat and light. How far away is the sun? It's very far away. It's about 93 million miles. In fact, it's so far away that the light that leaves the sun takes about eight minutes to make it all the way here to planet Earth. But that sounds impossible. If I turn on a flashlight, it, it lights up the room immediately. That's because the flashlight is so close to us, we really can't perceive the amount of time that that light takes to reach our eyes. The sun is so much farther away that we can actually measure the time it likes, takes for that light to travel. That's pretty far. It's very far. So it's made of gases, it's gigantic, mm -hmm. and it's, you're basically telling us it's like a big bomb of gas? It's a huge nuclear explosion held together by gravity. Wow. So that's what the sun is made of. Well, I hope we answered your question, Noah. Thanks for asking Elizabeth a science question, because I know I learned something today. Thank you very much, David. Thank you, Elizabeth. And thanks for letting us take a look at this planetarium. Very cool. Ask Elizabeth a question anytime you want. I love taking field trips. Thanks, everybody. Ask Elizabeth a science question.